Oh. Hello, Pix. <laughs> I wasn't expecting your voice to come from the sky. That was kind of disorientating. <laughs> it's like, where is he? Yeah, normally a pirate takes a boat, but I've been using my wings lately. Yeah, it seems um, fair. Sir Pix, I want to tell you that map that you just threw away at me ended up leading me somewhere really cool. Yeah? Oh, well, that's, <laughs> that's good. Like, pirates need an adventure to go on, right? So I, I figured that's that's great. I'm glad it was uh, left in your capable hands. Yeah, I'm pretty rich right now. So <laughs> thank you for that. Yeah. Um, as a thank you, I wanted to offer you unlimited supply at my shop. Really? Oh, incredible. Yeah, no, Prismarine is going to be so helpful. That's really generous of you. Thank you so much. Yeah, so anytime you need anything, it's all access for whatever you need. Incredible, incredible. Well, um, I can't let you walk away empty-handed. Uh, are you interested in trading for some frog lights? <gasps> yes, please. I need some yellow ones. Yeah, okay. Um, I've actually moved all of my stock down into the catacombs here. I've been using it as my storage oh. system, so uh, I can give you a quick tour in case you... Uh, I don't know, need to bury anybody or something. There's, you know, <laughs> okay. possibility of What's it. her name, by the way? Uh, she doesn't really have a name. She's just kind of like, just a, a, a guardian spirit of sorts, I guess. Um, oh, cool. Yeah, I, I'm still kind of learning about the history of this place, so I, I don't know for certain what everything is going on but um i'm yeah. already lost yeah no it's, it's fine like I, i've got a system down here um but all, all <laughs> you need to do you know. yeah uh, <gasps> just just open that book and turn the page for me real quick Okay. So, uh, so this is where I keep the frog lights. Um, <laughs> I, I always like it when new people get to see no that. So um, yeah, I have block swappers underneath all of the storage. So like the rest of the time, it can look like a tomb and everything's all kind of like mossy yeah. and overgrown. But then because this is my storage <laughs> system, I need to know where everything is. So yeah, I just have like a little book that allows me to, to swap them over. Um, oh and my God. As you can see, I'm still figuring out where everything goes. So it's not 100% yeah. finished, but I think like most of it is here um i brought some prismarine um, oh incredible thank you so much and i know you really like emerald ore so i brought some of that from oh my yes treasure adventure oh very nice yeah no I, I can throw that into the wishing fountain over at the great bridge later but um yeah no that's oh, uh they are. that's the yellow frog lights so i i have a, a plentiful stock of these right now so so help yourself Okay, I'll take two stacks. I think that should be enough. Perfect. All right. Yeah, looking forward okay. to uh, seeing those <laughs> flying on the, the sails of a ship, probably. <gasps> oh, I didn't even think of that. That's a great idea. This is for my clock tower, but a sail, that's even better. Yeah, I mean, yeah, <laughs> you'll definitely uh, not have to worry about being seen at night, but then, yeah, I guess it... Uh... It could work out. I need to come to you for advice more often. That's <laughs> very smart. I'm full of Let's advice. Some of it is good. It. Uh, yeah, just head up the next set of stairs and it's on your right. But uh, if you want to take a look around, there's uh, there's plenty to look at. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm going to have to come back and just take a look around. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I promise I will never steal from you. Thank you. Yeah, I, if people were a little concerned uh, when I made this entire thing out of gold that they were like, you know, there's a pirate on the <laughs> server, right? And I'm like, I've just hooked this pirate up with a treasure map adventure. I think yeah, we're going to be good no. for a while. And we're and if, we're if, alive. And if, you, and if you look carefully, it's, it's basically just gold plated. Like some of the gold is even wearing off some of the blocks up there. Like it's just gold paint. So those probably aren't worth all that much anyway fool's gold yeah that's what it is it's definitely definitely fool's gold well thank you so much for ah. the prismarine enjoy the frog lights and i'm looking yes, forward to you, seeing what you. you do with them all right see you later farewell <laughs> take care bon voyage here we are back on empires episode 11 and i believe <laughs> yep <laughs> i heard about this something has been left for me here in the entrance to the catacombs a gift from gobland a mountain replacement kit excited to see what this entails let's quickly make sure there are no untoward surprises in here nope didn't think so okay you can never be entirely certain with the goblins and oh now this is cool looking i like that i like that bit of emerald ore could have just chucked it in the fountain of course but hey not going to complain and looking at all of this this is looking pretty tasty i gotta say we can we can definitely do a fair amount with this obviously the mountain replacements is mainly that and we've already buried the hatchet with joel as far as that whole process is concerned but 
I'm keeping the shrink wrap on the mountain just in case for the time being. But I will quite happily offload all of this into the system because it'll now get automatically sorted when I throw it all in here and I'm pretty sure I have spaces for all of this stuff. And while it may not go to restoring the mountain, it's definitely going to come in handy for my next build because as I mentioned in the last episode, we do have to do something about the fact that my nether portals are still over there. And if you take a look at this place from the air now, in fact, let's land on the wing of our statue here and let's take a quick look around yeah, there's still a lot of empty space. I sort of want to start doing a little bit more planning of what's going to go out here and maybe start planning in some roads, put in some infrastructure and all of that kind of stuff. But first, I need to catch you up on a couple of things that have happened here on the Great Bridge because at long last, some people have started claiming some of their towers. And I love the fact that we have a few more towers here now representing each of the empires. You've seen the sort of sanctuary, you've seen a mythical sausages contribution over here opposite us. But what I'm standing on right here and something that is probably easier to see it from the opposite side is Smallish Beans is, I guess, second bedroom. <laughs> He's got like a little a bed up there for, you know, big old Joel to uh, hang out in and a little garden down there below. Lots of gold surrounding this. And this is why, honestly, I'm not too worried about people stealing gold from the uh, statue above my catacombs because that's going to be there for a little while. Opposite each other here, we have the... Amethyst here, which I presume is Lizzie. That's got to be from Animalia. It's the only Amethyst trader I know of on the server anyway. So really cool that this sort of <laughs> geodesic crystal has ended up here. Fantastic stuff. And of course, this must be the sheriff. Tumbletown is representing. And there isn't anything here in the barrels. So not quite. Oh, maybe there's a little bit of stuff. I don't know if that's just leftover building supplies or whatever. But it's not quite like Mythical Sausage Trading Post. Instead, we have a lovely little water tower here. And I I wonder if that has anything to do with the water here in the Great Bridge or if there's anything on the inside. It does just look like this is here for access in case anything needs to be put up here, but I would not be entirely surprised if at some point that ends up getting filled with TNT, either by Jimmy or by somebody else. I'm not sure who. Anyway, <laughs> moving on down, we have the last one that I believe has been claimed so far. This is from the good witch Shelby. This is Shovel, and she's put together a lovely little shrine where there's a frog where you can throw it some food in there and you get good luck, apparently. That's very cool. I'm going to chuck in a couple of golden carrots, maybe a couple of other bits and pieces, see what the frog's favorite food is. But I love the custom tree. I love how colorful and vibrant this whole thing is. The flowers, the candles, all of it's going very, very well together. So I love that. It looks like Chromia has claimed this one as well. I didn't spot the sign earlier, but it looks like Chromia is going to be there. Hopefully we'll see some representation from Gobland and a few of the others nearby as well. But in the meantime, I've got to get my building head on. I've got to figure out where we want some stuff to go around the streets of the ancient capital and probably where the streets are going to go as well. So I'm going to do a bit of planning around here and we'll see what we can come up with. And from up here on top of the statue, you can see the beginnings of what we're going to do here. So I've got a little bit more of a boundary around the outside of the catacombs. We've got some moss and some rooted dirt. I kind of like the idea that there is something about this area that has stuff continuing to grow but we've also got some dead bushes here and there as a reminder that this area is still on a decline <laughs> it's still kind of dying in some areas but some areas are still springing up with life here and there and the road pattern is something that i continued from around here i already have this curve built underneath the bridge that leads out from this house and we've got the same road pattern continuing elsewhere obviously hampered a little bit by the fact that we don't have any slabs or stairs in grass or dirt variants but i think overall the impression is pretty good and there's going to be a main thoroughfare over that way which actually leads down to the staircase that leads down to the caves where the machine is but right now i'm kind of stuck i mean i'm not stuck i kind of know what i'm going to be doing here but I want to make a couple of other changes to the area first, and I'm thinking about starting the connection to the Great Bridge over there. We're going to have a gatehouse over there, which is going to be the entrance to the ancient capital, and for that to be in place really marks the start of me figuring out the layout of this place in greater detail. So that road there is still going to happen. We're still going to have probably a wall around there that leads up into maybe a larger part of the district, maybe even part of the castle that I have planned. And we're going to start the castle today because I'm finally going to get a tower built around the outside of my nether portals here. And the idea is 
that this tower has a couple of broken out pieces that sort of show where the nether portal is to anybody who's just casually walking around here on the ground. You'll be able to see the portal up there in the sky through this hole that has been blasted out of the tower, either by siege weaponry, potentially, or maybe even by the fact that the nether portal generated there in the first place, and some kind of explosion of heat from the nether has caused the tower to give way and crumble and burn in the process, and some of it is still looking charred and cindered centuries later. Of course, I still need access to the portal that takes me into the main nether cavern, so that's kind of buried underneath the tower in a slightly safer place, and a lot of this tower isn't going to be fully textured because it's going to be connected to a larger construct around the outside. We're probably going to have a castle of sorts forming up around this tower as I design more pieces of it. So this is just going to be one part of it. The part that's facing downwards into the town probably isn't going to have too much built around it, and so I've textured this side, but not any of the other sides, and it should make the build process a little bit cleaner. So I'm going to get this built, but something tells me this isn't going to be the most exciting time lapse. It's just one tower, and you've already seen most of it in the schematic here. So instead, I'm going to cut over to some footage that you might have seen if you've been watching Joel or Jimmy's series, but I thought it'd be fun to show you from my perspective. I was asked to adjudicate a court case between Joel and Jimmy, because Jimmy hasn't been too happy about the fact that Joel is now selling Sheriff toys out of his toy barn build. And so a neutral third party had to be brought in to judge the case, and that turned out to be me. All right, Jimmy, I got, I got the papers in order. Are you ready for this? We got this in the bag. I'm a little bit shaky, I'm not gonna lie, but I'm believing in you, my trust is in you. I think good, good, nice. good, because speaking of a bag, I definitely bribed the judge. Let's go! What? What? What, what? did you do? What did you what? do? What? 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 What do you mean? What do you Let's mean? Go! No, what do you mean before we... Come on in, sir. What you... Jimmy, I Jimmy, right up idea. here. We are right up here. The small big claims court, right in here. Why is Hello? this more in caps? Why is... Hello. Hey! hey! Pixlriffs. Oh my gosh, this... Sir. Oh, no. This just Sheriff. got serious. Oh, Sheriff, okay. please, please take your seat over here. Okay. Oh, oh, sorry, uh, sorry. Judge, uh, uh, judge, just threw up on me. Everyone, judge. everyone will please <laughs> take your seats. It was, it was just Thank a wrench. You, judge Riffs is now in session. This is big. This court this is, big. is now in session for the case of Solidarity Gaming versus Smallish Beans. Mr. Gaming has brought this suit against Mr. Beans for copyright infringement, unauthorized use of his image, and defamation of character. Mr. Gaming alleges that Mr. Beans has created a toy store with the intention of profiting from sales of soft toys made in his image, thereby infringing his copyright as the sheriff and making a mockery of him by association with the aforementioned plush toy line. Mr. Gaming, is this correct? This is correct. This is correct, Judge. Mr. Beans? Yeah, I guess. You will have the opportunity to answer these allegations in more detail shortly, but please be aware you will face stricter penalties if this court finds you guilty of any charges you wish to present an argument against. With this in mind, how do you plead? Um, it depends, uh, <laughs> Your Majesty. <laughs> right. It, it depends on one thing. Is if I'm so ha if I'm uh, copying the sheriff's image. Is that him admitting he's a tie? Because I am willing to pay him the fine. No, Your Honor. Nothing. No, Your Honor. Your Honor. That is not me admitting. I'm copying his image, and I plead not guilty. Your Honor, it's possible to create a toy off of a real being, where the sheriff is in fact a <clears throat> real being. In the absence of a jury of your peers, none of whom responded to a summons, I will mm -hmm. deliver this verdict in accordance with my judgment as lawmaster of these lands. Uh, both Mr. Beans and Mr. Gaming's legal representative, Mr. Fwip, have decided to send me gifts in the interest oh. of swaying my goodwill towards oh. one or the other. However, since I judged both gifts to be of equivalent value, they balance each other out and do not constitute a conflict ah, of, of interest or si create significant bias towards either party. Uh, additional pork chops will be. Sir, sir, did you uh, <laughs> did you see right here? Look at this shiny rock right behind you. Look at this little. The court oh has the court has observed this. <laughs> I got some more so of those. The court, more? the court would like to oh, sheriff, uh, sheriff, please, please. The court, the please court would like to remind the court would like to remind the defendant and the accusant that uh, <laughs> this kind of this kind of fighting should not exist in a court of law. <laughs> okay, sorry, sorry. Please put your sorry, sword your and shield away, sir. <clears throat> sorry, Your Honor. Mr. Gaming has appointed himself a legal representative to present his case. Yes. Uh, while mm. Mr. Beans <sighs> has elected to represent himself, is this correct? Yes, no one would represent me, Your Honor. 
Well, there, there <laughs> it is. <laughs> telling. Uh, <laughs> telling. <laughs> I thought you had this, uh, this lawyer me. turning up, Mr. Beans. I had a sword in my hand this entire time. Mr. Beans, <laughs> if you shoot Mr. Mr. Gaming in this court, you will be held in contempt. Uh, <laughs> the court will now hear opening remarks from Mr. Gaming's representative. Mr. Whip, you have the floor. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Judge. But Objection first. hearsay, Your Honor. Sustained. <laughs> <laughs> the sheriff is a loyal sheriff who has been the Empire's favorite Objection sheriff. Objection here, say your honor. He's Sus not loyal. He's an absolute moron. Mr. Beans, Sorry. if you object one more time out of turn, I will have to send you outside. Please continue, Mr. Flick. Okay. He has been the favorite sheriff since the start of the season. He's smart, he's determined, and he's a passionate man. And he would do anything for his nearest and dearest friends. He considers no. his friends and family as his friends as family. Mm -hmm. And he tries his best to keep them together at all times. Mm -hmm. His public image is being taken advantage of by the accused in hopes of making a profit off of selling toys that look like our favorite sheriff, who's mm -hmm. a well-known figure of the entire empire. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Nice. Very good. Uh, we'll now hear opening remarks from you. Mr. Beans. I got you. I got you. Uh, that is all complete rubbish. I just made a toy because I like sheriffs. It's got nothing to do with solidarity gaming and his stupid little hat. Um, and I, he is Objection, also corrupt Your Honor. Objection. the worst person this is in the leading. world. And I, I hate him so much. And I, he's a toy. Sorry. Uh, Mr. Beans, if you could please keep your biases uh, in check. This is a court of law. It's kind of hard, but it's this uh, Mr. Here. Mr. Whip, you had an objection. This was a leading line of statements here. Not relevant <laughs> to the copyright case. What does that mean? Uh, the court observes this, Mr. Beans. If you could step back to your stand, please. Okay, cool. Dude, he just got served. He yeah, had he did. I, I told he you, we served with the papers. We're gonna win this, dude. Oh, yeah, a little, little high five over here. Uh, I, another thing I've just remembered is I'm using it under parody law. Parody law means I can make a parody of something and it is legal as long as Wait, I'm can you do that? making Wait. fun of it. So mm -hmm. that's my, my other mm -hmm. argument. Mm -hmm. You can't do that. Does anybody have one of these plush toys that I might examine for myself? Yeah, sure. I hate seeing it. I just hate seeing it. I can't. I need to turn away a second. I hate. No. Uh, Mr. Gaming, oh, if you could please face this way. Up. Do you I... need me to stand next to it? Or... Uh, please do. Please yeah, do. I would like please, to ex please. examine the similarity for myself. I hate you so much. You can't tell them apart. Oops. It's, it's, it's going to be okay. That's it's a bad thing for you. There. Just stand there. Slide a little to the. Slide a little over here. A little over here. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yep. There we go. See? Ooh. Your Honor, do you me... can see the likeness right there. The hair. The tones are the same. The bandana is the same color. The coat, the shirt, he the does, jacket's in there. He does indeed seem to resemble the toy. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, Judge, I know what you're doing here. And could you I'm refrain from you, using that? That's all that I needed. Time, but, I don't that, care anymore. I'm changing no, my plea. Uh, no. He's a toy. Uh, Take no, the diamond. That's I don't not, want them anymore. No, no, I don't know. This is not me admitting that I'm a toy, though. But the, holy mo- The 52 toy resembles diamonds. the sheriff I, is what we're seeing. This, yes. The, the toy way resembles the sheriff's likeness. We have also yeah, not decided whether settlement was necessary in this proceeding. Please give the diamonds back just for- Mr. Gaming, if you could please return the diamonds to Mr. Beans. Thank you very much. Oh my gosh, he, he, he's laughing. He, he's getting the laughing matter at the moment. I don't like Your this. Honor, I don't like I the way like it's going. I would like to say that before these toys came into production, Joel has been observed many times calling my client a toy and trying to say he has no rights in this universe. Whereas my client, the sheriff, is a proud and passionate leader of Tumbletown. Mm -hmm. And before these toys even came to production, he was trying to put the foot that Jimmy is a toy before these mm -hmm. things even existed. Mr. Beans, do you have anything to say in your defense? Yeah, look at him, he's a blooming toy. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Beans, can you, you- Can I ask for a trial by combat? Uh, trial by combat is not a service we offer here. Oh, for goodness sake. See, he's all against He's all against the law, isn't he? L-O, L-A-W, he's all against okay, it. Can I, can I just say, this sheriff pretends he's all good and stuff. Pretends he's a nice little man. I'm a man, good man. But I'm he is man. corrupt. He is no. willingly bribing a judge Bro. with his lawyer. No. Absolute no. disgrace. And also, number one rule, dis don't disrespect the sheriff. That is a breach of my freedom and my my rights for free speech. No. And I um, just want to get Objection. that out of there. This is, is uh, irrelevant human. to the current copyright It speaks case. to the character of Mr. Gaming. Objection sustained. And uh, uh, Mr. Beans, I 
believe these aren't exactly matters to be settled by a small, big claims court. So I yeah, think it's we to be settled with a trial by combat. Let's go. Uh, I believe no, no. <laughs> trial by combat may not be the thing either. I believe that you may need to take this to a higher court, one which I okay. unfortunately do not have the legal power to represent. However, in the case of Mr. Beans and Mr. Gaming here, Mr. Beans has already demonstrated his willingness to hand over the profits for the sales of the aforementioned toy. So I believe in this case, uh, I rule that Mr. Beans should pay Mr. Gaming what he is due, the full profits of sales from the toy store. But there you go. Can you confirm that me accepting these diamonds doesn't mean I'm accepting that I'm a toy, but I, the, the toys that's not are based off could, of me. Sheriff, that's not, that's, sheriff, uh, that's, sheriff, sheriff. That's it's his accepting that accept the that. toy was made in your likeness. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. what I mean. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, this yeah. Is, I'm not accepting that I'm a you, toy. Not, yeah. It's funny yeah. you should mention Judge? that yeah. because the uh, the the next case we're actually judging here is um what? let me check what? my notes um the case of uh is solidarity gaming a toy no and, uh, we're, we're gonna be, we're, let's get out of this presiding over this on, case think, with think, Mr Beans yeah, here I, as won. the witness yep. yeah yeah because you know you can't win that one no uh, tie, I'll leave no I'll leave. I'm not a toy I'm not. Jimmy, Jimmy, don't aggravate him. Don't aggravate him. Who put that case? Who put that case in the diamond? Pick the diamonds and walk in. Pick the diamonds and people walk in. Who put that case in the pixel? Who put that? Thank you, Judge. Feel free to take the Emerald Orb lock back there if you would like to. You are more than welcome. Thank you very much. I told you that one wouldn't make much of a time lapse. <laughs> there wasn't really all that much going on. We got the whole thing built though, and it's looking real nice. And obviously as the area around this develops, it's gonna feel a lot more in context than just this lone tower out there. But one of my favorite things about this is that whether or not you are up here next to this portal as you come out from the nether roof, or if you are down there at the portal below, you are effectively forced to come out this way, and the first thing you see is the statue above the catacombs. Really gives you a good introduction to this area, and it's another one of the things that I've been learning from Elden Ring, which is obviously a pretty key inspiration in a lot of the stuff that I'm building here, is limiting the player's perspective and creating the sightlines that really introduce them to the landmarks of an area first. This whole area is kind of inspired most heavily by the capital city that you visit in Elden Ring, and that has a couple of really breathtaking moments where you step out of a doorway and you're greeted with a vista across the entire city, and that's kind of the vibe I want to get for people visiting here for the first time. Not only that, but once they hop down from the portal and turn around, if there's a massive castle around here, they're really going to have something special to look back on. So that's one build out of the way, but I want to get a second one taken care of in this episode, and this one I'm not going to show you right off the bat. I'm not going to show you the schematic of it, you're just going to get to see it take shape in another time lapse. But I decided it's probably time to build the gatehouse here that is going to lead through to the central road, the entrance to the ancient capital, and is effectively going to be my tower on the Great Bridge, really, because as we mentioned before, there are 12 towers, there are 12 other empires, so it doesn't necessarily leave room for me, but my stuff is all linked to this anyway, so it will make perfect sense. And a while ago I started flattening out some of the hillside, I'm not sure I'm going to take away much of the hill today, but we're going to take away enough to build our gatehouse, and once again, we're going to do that in the form of a time lapse. <laughs>
as the sun rises on the Great Bridge, and I try to ignore the fact that <laughs> one of the other Great Bridge pillars has been built on in the meantime, while I was doing the last bits of woodwork up there on the gatehouse, the gatehouse is complete with the doors here wide open. And I did have an alternative design where I wanted to have a portcullis here with a, a tree motif on it, kind of once again taking inspiration from Elden Ring, but that just had, I had to, difficulty getting that to read. I really want to use the design somewhere else, but I'm not going to use it here. Instead, we have these big wooden doors, and I've been trying to avoid building with wood too much elsewhere because I kind of figure that wood will be one of those things that's decayed over time, it's rotted, or it's worn away, or it's been destroyed, or taken, or whatever, right? Repurposed somewhere else potentially, but I think with doors this large they probably would have been treated or made out of really sturdy wood so they would stand the test of time. And the doors are just slightly ajar. I want to give the impression that they could swing back and fully open to let some large vehicles through or whatever, but at this point, considering it's just foot access and occasionally horses and that kind of thing, you could ride them on through this gap, no problem. It also does what I was saying earlier and kind of limits our perspective to just this three block wide aperture through the door. So I'm hoping once I've cleared out a little bit more of the terrain here, it's not just going to open onto a cliff face of terrain, we are going to be able to use that to our advantage and maybe have something to the left and the right that's going to really impress people as they walk through. Maybe a couple more statues or something like that. But either way, this now marks the entrance to the Empire to my ancient capital and I do like the fact that the doors are open. I do have some fastenings on the back as though you'd be able to lay massive logs over the back to like brace the door against some kind of oncoming invasion but maybe when the last people were fleeing the ancient capital when there was nobody left there they decided there was really nothing left to defend and they left the doors open just in case anybody in future wanted to come and visit the ancient capital. Well, that's that's part of the story, I guess. <laughs> I've said it in a video now, so it's lore. It happens. And I think that's also where we're going to wrap up this video. Hopefully you really enjoyed this video because there was a lot going on here. A couple of big time lapses, a couple of court cases, and I hope you folks enjoyed the ride. Well, that's going to be it from me. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Empires. My name has been Pixorifs. Don't forget to leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you folks soon. Take care. Bye for now.